Hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. This week you join me back on the banks of the river and we're in search of chub. So with the restrictions that were in place last year, it seems like a lifetime since we've been next to the banks of the river. Most of my winter was spent fishing for those carp, you know, on the method feeder, just getting out, getting a bite, but deep down, I couldn't wait to be on the river. The river today is low and clear, as you can see on screen now. There's patches of sand where you can see the bottom quite clearly. The sun just coming over the trees and walking the bank. I just got a glimpse of Mr. Chubb sitting underneath a tree. Conditions like this do make fishing difficult, but it also makes it a bit easier. You can see bits of the river that are covered in sand where you can see the bottom and you can see there's no fish. Then you can see those darker patches where, you know, they're the only places that the chub can live. That bit deeper water where they live and you can target those areas. The low clear conditions does mean it's going to be difficult today and if it wasn't for June the 16th, I wouldn't be targeting this river today at all. But just to get out on the bank, the target today is one chub and we'll go from there. That is the target. We might have to move about a bit to get one, but hopefully by the end of this blog, we'll have got one chub on the bank. June the 16th is a special day and it is like having two Christmases in one year, the night before you do get that excitement. But over the years, you do learn that June the 16th can be a bit of an anti-climax. The River Seven at the moment is quite low and clear. And like I've said, this river behind me is also low and clear. My advice to people going out on the bank would be not to try new places, but like here, come to places where you've had fish before. And the target on the opening day should just be to enjoy the day and hopefully get a bend in the rod. If you manage to get a bend in the rod on June the 16th, you're doing something right, because it is notoriously a tough day. So we'll quickly go over the setup that we're using today. Today I'm using my Corum Glide in 14 foot. I've got one of the phase one reels that are coming out soon to Corum and that's got four pound line on it, down to a stick float, a bulk shot of Dinsmore weight and down to an 18 hook. Bait for the day is Red Maggot and Cheshire Particle Hemp. The first swim that we're going to try today is quite shallow here. We've got a sunken tree downstream, which is where the chub are going to hold. And my target is to put my maggots here, the hemp at two o'clock, and just give it an hour and just see if we can lure one of those chub from that snag. So I've given the first swim around about two hours. And as you can see, the sun is on the water now. So chances of a bite most definitely gone. We'll have a mooch around on one or two other swims and just see if we can pick up one. So the second swim of the day, really overgrown, but it's got that cover, you know, the darkness. It is shallow, but walking down the river, I saw five or six chub just in that dippling light. So set up upstream. It is really shallow, um, you're talking, you know, a foot. But that is the depth of the water they're chubbing in. It's where they feel comfortable. So I'm just going to put some maggots here and just trot down to where they were. And hopefully we can get one. And say so the target at the moment is one fish. I think we'll have done well to get one. Uh, that first swim was miles down on what it normally is. And like I say, if it wasn't June the 16th, I don't think I'd have bothered. Loads of room above us for the rod. Casting's going to be a bit difficult underneath this tree. But let's give it a go. So literally, going out as far as my weathers will let me. A little gentle flick. And then we've got to hold it back to get it down the swim. To the slightly deeper water downstream. And I say, plenty of maggots are going to feed behind it and hopefully one of them few chub that were down there we can get to take the bait. And so they've not seen maggots in a long time, put a few bits of hemp in and hopefully it won't take too many casts to try and slip one up. So this swim, proper jungle warfare, spotted a couple of chub on that light gravel down there, 
been putting the maggots and the hemp and we've just managed to hook the first chub of the 20 21 season making it nice and easy just trying to tease it up the swim there was one or two more down there i don't want to spook them but as you can see proper jungle warfare There we go, the first chub of this campaign of this year, June the 16th, really hard conditions, low and clear. You can see the jungle warfare that we're in to get a bite. These are the areas where the fish will be, the deeper holes and the cover. Let's get him straight back and have another cast. I'm going to have a couple more casts and just take a time, just see if we can winkle out one more. Like I say, there was a few about but it is clear, you can see the bottom down there where we hooked him. There's a good chance we spooked the whole shoal. But you never know which up, they are greedy and they will come to bait. So I'm just going to keep flicking maggots in, some hemp, and then just keep plugging away. Well, I did say we might catch one more chub, but I didn't promise its size, did I? A beautiful little chub. And great to see that the chub are reproducing in here. Beautifully marked. Let's get him straight back. So, no more chub forthcoming, just a few small ones. And off he goes. You just see there just how clear the water is. Proper made up to get one. And off he goes. Time for another move. We've got one more swim to try. Maybe two. And we'll see if we can pick up another. And first day of the season, of course, the swim is through there. Absolutely love it. The last swim had the cover, didn't it? The shadows. This swim, we're hoping that it's got the depth. It's one of the deeper swims on the stretch. So I'm hoping that this might hold one or two chub. Again, being clear, one will be a result. But that is what we're hoping to do. I'm going to put the maggots here. And then hoping that the chub are going to be sitting along this bank here. And just put a bit of hemp in. So, a bit of hemp. Over there. We'll put some maggots in here. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. And we're in second or last chance saloon. Last swim below this one is, is shallow. But I think this possibly could be our last chance. Well, the second to last swim of the day. And it's taken maybe an hour of trotting and the flow is absolutely buried only on that light two pound one ounce hook link so i'm just going to take it easy you can see the conditions are frightfully low and boy does it feel good to be back on the river a bend in the road like i said i've been on this river before and had good days with the chub but doing a lot of fishing you get to learn from experience and you know when the days are going to be hard and I don't know whether this is a chub or a trout but it's gone upstream which is always a good sign and that on a day like today is a result a beautiful chub and the second one of the day in the net that chub in the net I'm going to give it plenty of time to recuperate and while I'm doing so I'm just going to feed the swim with a few more maggots and who knows there might be one more Glorious 16th, it's good to be back on the river, catching chub, and let's get him straight back. And it just shows, people think you know about snags and low rivers, depth is just as important. It took a while to get the first one, and the second one has come within 10 minutes. Three chub on a hard day, proper made up. Let's get it straight back. Today the keep net is most definitely a temporary measure. I know this river well and I know that if you want to get one or two chub out of a swim this small, putting them straight back is not the answer. So literally the first one's been in there 15 minutes. It's taken 15 minutes to get the second and I'm literally going to give it another 15 minutes and see if we can get another. If we get up to the hour mark, we'll be packing in. And like I was saying, know the river quite well. 
the next cast, after feeding those maggots while I was dealing with that other chub, the float's buried again. Just shows, you know, keep patient, keep feeding them maggots, and once they arrive, if you get them all out, you can get a few bites pretty quickly. And the sight of those white lips coming up on the opening day of the season is why I target chub for my first session. Not gonna waste any time in getting it blogged because like I said, I'm only gonna give it the hour, no matter what, and let them fish go in that net. For the next cast, chub number three, and hopefully in the hour, we can get a few bites. And so that's the hour up and we just managed just the three chub. Great fun, so four in total, three from this swim, a good rest and time to let them go. And back they go. Thank you very much for watching. Tight lines in your own fishing. I hope your June the 16th was enjoyable as this one. And I'll catch us all next week. Tight lines.